it's like easier. The bar's set really <laughs> low for anyone who I date in the future to come in and be like a great guy. I'm having more fun during this time of my life than I've ever had before. Le I've legitimately never been happier. So you can either recognize it and embrace it or you can deny it and pretend it's not happening. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care that you have tattoos. I don't care that you have a, d a gap between your teeth. Like, I love you for who you are. I'll be like, how oh, you exist? This is crazy. <laughs> Get ready for some exciting news. Taylor Swift, the famous singer, has shared some gossip about her love life. Brace yourselves as she talks about why she decided to start dating Travis Kelce, the tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. You're in for a ride as Taylor spills the beans, and you might be surprised by what she reveals. One big reason Taylor really likes Travis is because he's been putting a lot of effort into their relationship from the start. Even before they officially started dating, he was into her. Remember when he felt bad because Taylor didn't notice him at first? So picture this. It's July 2023, and on a relaxed episode of the Kelsey Brothers football podcast, Travis tells his brother Jason about something interesting. The hot topic? Travis made a friendship bracelet with his phone number for Taylor Swift. He was all set to give it to her at one of her concerts, but she didn't do the meet and greet like he expected. Before or after her shows, Taylor takes precautions to protect her voice. And just like that, rumors start swirling about Travis and Taylor possibly dating. But wait, there's a twist. Travis's message somehow reaches Taylor, maybe with a little help from Fox Sports caster Aaron Andrews, who publicly supported Travis. What's cute about them is that they're both equally interested. It started with Travis, but now Taylor is also giving her all. Fast forward to September, and it's game time. Travis makes a move, and Taylor shows up at one of his games, not just as a fan, but as his biggest supporter. And guess what? She's not just there for Travis. She's bonding with Donna Kels, Travis's mom, who is like the MVP of all MVPs. Game day footage shows Taylor and Donna hitting it off like old friends when Travis scores. Touchdown. Taylor goes into full fan mode, jumping, high-fiving, and basically being just like any of us watching the game. But here's the kicker. A hilarious moment turns into an internet sensation. A post on X, formerly Twitter, captures Taylor in all of her game day glory, munching on fried chicken with ketchup and seemingly ranch dressing, sparking a viral sensation. Post-game celebrations aren't your typical pizza and beer affair. Taylor and Travis take it up a notch. They head to Prime Social, a swanky rooftop restaurant in Kansas City that Travis rents out for the crew. It's a private party where Taylor, Travis, and the whole squad are living their best lives. Fast forward to September 27, and Travis Kels opens up on a podcast about the whirlwind that followed his game day rendezvous with Taylor. Reality check, paparazzi are now camping outside his house, courtesy of their newfound fame. The Taylor Swift effect is real, Travis can't stop talking about Taylor showing up to cheer him on, calling it the ultimate power move. But it's not all glitz and glam. Travis also shares the sweet sentiments from friends and family who seem to approve of Taylor. However, in a twist that nobody saw coming, Travis reveals a change in the podcast playbook. From now on, it's all about sticking to sports talk. In his own words, I know I brought all this attention to me. What's real is that it is my personal life, and I want to respect both of our lives. Respect, Travis. We totally understand that decision. Hold on to your hats because October 14th to 15th is a weekend to remember. Travis Kels and Taylor Swift take their love story to the iconic Saturday Night Live stage, turning the NFL's Swift mania into a full-blown spectacle. San Al delivers a skit that puts the NFL in the spotlight, thanks to the sudden outbreak of Swift mania. But wait, there's more. Travis and Taylor find themselves in the audience, and the SNL gods decide it's cameo time. Travis surprises everyone with an appearance at the end of the NFL skit, while Taylor takes the stage to introduce the musical guest, Ice Spice. During their second number, the crowd goes wild and social media explodes with excitement. After the SNL magic, it's time for the after party, and you bet Travis and Taylor are front and center. But the fun doesn't stop there. The dynamic duo extends their NYC escapade to a dreamy date night the next day. Now, let's talk about those cozy hand-holding photos that light up the internet. According to body language experts, Travis and Taylor aren't just posing for the cameras, they're practically broadcasting their intimate, loving connection. And here's a little insider scoop. 
Apparently, at one point, Travis goes full on knight in shining armor mode, telling Taylor's security guard, step aside my friend, I've got this. October 18th marks another milestone in the Taylor and Travis saga, and this time it's all about love and real estate. Travis Kels, the man who's been sweeping Taylor off her feet, goes all out to make her feel special. How you ask? By shelling out a cool $6 million for a new mansion, upgrading to a secluded paradise in Kansas City. As the paparazzi frenzy reaches new heights and privacy becomes a precious commodity, Travis takes matters into his own hands. The new mansion isn't just a house. It's a fortress shielding their love story from the prying eyes of the world. It seems like Travis is determined to create a haven where Taylor can feel cherished away from the constant glare of the spotlight. Now, that's what we call a grand gesture of love and commitment. Plus, she loves him because he respects her privacy, but isn't ashamed of loving her in public. In the face of a bold reporter's inquiry about matters of the heart, Travis Kels plays it cool. Travis keeps his cards close to this chest when asked directly if he's in love. With a smile, he responds, I'm going to keep my personal relationship personal. Liberty gestures, liking an Instagram post might seem like a run-of-the-mill move. But hold the phone because when Taylor hits that heart button on posts about Travis's achievement, it's a very big deal. And we know she really loves him because she's doing things for him that she's never done before. Talk about a love story that hits all the right notes. Picture this. Taylor Swift, the queen of surprises, takes the stage in Argentina, and the atmosphere is already electric. But then she throws in a curveball during her performance of Karma that leaves everyone in awe. In a heartwarming twist, Taylor tweaks the lyrics of Karma to make a special shout out to her beau, Travis Kels. The modified line goes, Karma is the die on the cheats coming straight home to me. The crowd goes wild, and the lovebirds' connection takes center stage. After the show, in a moment straight out of a romantic movie, Taylor darts off the stage and into Travis's waiting arms. Sealing the night with a big, heartfelt kiss, the two had also been spotted enjoying a cozy dinner together the night before setting the stage for this romantic encounter. Travis, clearly moved by Taylor's lyrical gesture, later comments on the unexpected lyric change, saying it blew me away. These two are tight with each other's families, creating a warm, cozy vibe that feels like a big, loving hug. The Kelseys and the Swifts aren't just watching from the sidelines, they're part of this grand love story and they're here for it. So what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week, where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.